What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Sigma Engineering channel. Today we're talking Microsoft Power Automate and Microsoft Forms. So what we're going to do today is just go over the basics of Microsoft Forms, tie it to a SharePoint team or SharePoint site so folks can upload files and those files get automatically emailed to a manager or whoever via Microsoft Power Automate. Hopefully this video uh, helps you. If it does, please like and subscribe. See you after the jump. All right, if you haven't done so already, log into Microsoft Office 365 and hit the waffle in the top left, go to Forms. And once you're in Microsoft Forms, uh, you can create a new form by hitting the plus button. Um, but also on the bottom, you'll see your teams or groups that you're a part of. Um, and so here I have a uh, Microsoft team. I'm gonna create a new group form. And that's a bit different um, as it's tied to that team or group. Um, and this is uh, really nice because any uploads uh, go to the SharePoint site or the group, the file folder that's attached to that team or group. Um, so I'm just going to, you know, uh, title this uh, Microsoft form, uh, whatever you want. Uh, I might make a, a, a base, basic incident form here um, and then add a few other columns as well, uh, plus an area where folks can upload files. So if I hit add new here, I get some choices. I'm gonna hit the arrow and click upload file. Um, so I can put a title here and then it's automatically gonna give me a place where I can upload files. I can also put a file number limit here and a file size limit. There's three choices on the, on the size limit. Um, it's 10 megs, 100 or a gig. And then for the uh, file number limit, uh, you can go greater than 10 files. Uh, you can go crazy with it. Um, Overall, if you upload files through Microsoft Forms, it's going to attach um, in your SharePoint site. Um, however, we're gonna automate this to automatically email it. And there's also some cool ways to spice up your form with different looks as well. So I'm gonna click on preview and just put in some information, test this form out, uh, just a John Doe, and then I'm gonna upload a file, just a test image. And once that is uploaded, I'm going to click Submit. So if I click on Responses on the tab above, you can see that there is one response now. I can view the results and I can see the file that was uploaded there. And this is just a test image file. Um, I'm going to make sure I'm logged in here and you'll see this test image that I have. But I do want to show that on the SharePoint site itself, there's a folder called Apps. If you look in there, and then you click on Microsoft Forms. Here is the issue reporting form and you're gonna see a folder called question and you'll see where that test file was uploaded. And you can see it again in your SharePoint site. All right, off to Power Automate. Once you're there, um, you can click on My Flows, see the current flows that you have. Um, you can also click on Templates on the side there and there is a good template to get started uh, with Microsoft Forms and you'll find it and it's going to be send an email response and you'll see it's attached to Outlook. It'll have all your permissions for your flows and just hit continue and then it'll have a template that pops up. Um, and basically what this is doing is it's asking, all right, what form do you want to tie to? Um, if you don't see your form here, just enter a custom value. So if we go back to forms and we find our team group form, it's the issue reporting form. If you look in the link above, you will find that there is a design and ID, and then it says equals, and then it has a, a chain of, of letters and numbers. If you copy that, that's your form ID. And you just hit enter a custom value and just copy paste that form ID. So it needs to know that when a new response is submitted from that form, it's gonna get the details from that form and then it's gonna do some other stuff. Um, to simplify this, I'm just gonna pull, um, you can drag and drop stuff in Power Automate. I'm gonna pull the send an email up here. I'm gonna delete that uh, if statement. And then I'm gonna make sure that, you know, once it pulls the response details, it's gonna send them to, for, for this example, I'm gonna send it to myself. Um, and then we're gonna make sure that the subject is right, so it'll have the submission time there and also we can change what's in the body of the email as well. I recommend saving your flow at this point. Make sure you see the green bar that says successfully saved. If you click on my flows, you're gonna see the flow you just created. 
it is running in the cloud. And from this point, um, you can see all the details of your flow. If you click on edit, you can get back into Microsoft Power Automate and edit this automation flow um, so we can create it so it emails you all the attachments from that form. Again, make sure that all your dynamic content in your email um, is what you want. Um, I'm gonna add the answer to the question of your name so I know that, you know, who actually put the form in. So I'm gonna say from, all right, and then it's gonna have the name of the person who submitted the form. And uh, from here, uh, we're just gonna hit the little plus icon above send an email and we're gonna add some more logic to this flow. What we wanna click on is add an action, and then we're gonna choose an operation. We wanna select initialize variable. Um, you can search that or find the subject variable and click initialize variable. And for this variable name, you can make it anything. Uh, var variable files will work. Just make sure it's an array because we're changing a string to an array here. And then we're gonna insert a new step after we're done building that array. And it's gonna say choose an operation. And for this one, if you just search apply, you wanna find apply to each. And then for the output from previous step, click on expression instead of dynamic content. Type in JSON, put your parentheses here. And in, in those parentheses, go back to dynamic content find issue files. So make sure that the files uploaded are attached. And then we're gonna add another operation. We're gonna say, get file content using path. And then for this one, for the site address, just make sure it's tied to your SharePoint site um, that's tied to your team or group. And then for file path, instead of dynamic content, use expression and type in item and then have parentheses, put a question mark there. And then in brackets, put in link. So this is gonna link the file content within that array. And then within the email, if we go down here and we look at more options, we look at attachment. We can see attachment name and attachment contents. There's also a button in the top right here that will ch change it to an array. But first, let's test this. If we put in attachment name for name and attachment content for the content itself, and then we click on the array button in the top right there, that's tied to attachments. If we do that, then we'll see the script that forms an array. So we'll see the format that Power Automate wants this in. We can actually copy this and take it up above. And under apply to each, under get file content using path, um, if you just click add an item, add an action there, and then we're gonna choose an operation again. And for this one, we're just going to search append to array. And we're gonna append this variable to an array. Which array? It's the one we made called bare files. And for the value, we're just gonna paste that in there. Um, and instead of attachment name, let's change that. And if you just hit uh, expression there, can type in item parentheses question mark and then type in name if I can type right and then from there hit OK we'll put that expression as the name that's the item name and then for content bytes this is literally the attachment so if we go back here again Scroll down in dynamic content, find file content. That's the content of the file we want to attach. Get that in there and then just remove those two brackets on the top and bottom to make Power Automate happy with that expression. And then from there you can save it. 
and keep on rolling. So at this point, we've appended the files to the array that we've made called var files. And now for attachments, make sure you switch that to array and then actually add that var files exp expression, right? So it's sitting there, that variable, just attach that. And so the uh, subject and content is in that array. It's gonna be an attachment to the email for whatever we upload in the Microsoft Forms document. And at this point, we're ready to test it out. So make sure you save it, make sure you see that green bar and go to preview on your form. Let's just type in a name and upload some files here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that test image file. It's a JPEG, we're gonna hit submit. Um, once we do that, it'll say thanks. And we'll see that we have an email now. Um, it's automated, has the attachment. Um, so if we look at this again and we try this one more time, let's John, John Doe for the name and let's attach an Excel file this time. Let's hit submit here. It's gonna say awesome. But then when we go to my flows and you scroll down, you're gonna see that it failed. Um, and this is because the Excels don't actually work right off the bat uh, when attaching to that array. So if we go back to edit, we can fix this up under append array to variable, go to configure run after, and then click has failed. So even to get file content using path fails, it'll still attach it. Um, this way, when we test it and we attach an Excel file, it'll now work. So let's do another test, upload our test Excel document. If we hit submit here, um, we can go back to our flows and we'll see if it was successful this time. And here's an example of the email you get with that attachment. So now back to the forms, what if we wanna add a choice and we want someone to say, okay, well, who's your manager? So we can specifically email that manager. Um, I'm gonna have two options for this example. Um, we can just do Michael Scott and Jim. And if we attach that as a question, we can actually go in Power Automate and specify based on what they select, we can email a specific person. So all you have to do in, in forms is just drag and drop where you want these questions. So I'm gonna make that question two. And then for the last question, we'll have that file upload. Of course, you can change the number of files you can upload. So I'll change it to two files and I'll increase the size limit as well. So now that we have these choices, we can go back to Power Automate. We can edit the flow we just made. Um, and there's not much to change here. We're just gonna add some if statements. You know, we're still gonna initialize a variable. Uh, and then for each attachment, we're gonna attach it to the array and then attach it to an email. Um, so everything still stays as is. But then when we get near the bottom here, right before send an email, just click add an action. And then we're gonna add a control here. So if we search condition, you're gonna find that control for a condition and then choose a value. Just find that question, who's your manager, find that dynamic content, put that in there. If it's equal to, and then you can just type it in. Is it Michael, Jim, whoever it is? And then if yes, make sure you send an email to Michael and do the same thing with Jim. Again, add another step, add a control condition, and then again, choose that question, who's the manager, and then add Jim. Be sure to add the attachment ver files. Make sure that's in that email as well. And then this is the email that's gonna go to Jim. So it's gonna be a different email in the two. And then once those are both in there, just hit save. And then based on who we select in the form, um, it should email two different people. All right, so back to forms. And if we go to forms, we can click Michael Scott, upload some files here. I'm gonna upload two files, uh, an image and an Excel file. I'm gonna hit submit. That looks good and I'm gonna do it again. Just another test with Jim upload two files, again, an image and an Excel file, just so we can put it through its paces. 
hit submit. And then once we check our flows, we're gonna see that both were successful there. And then when we go to our emails, the two different emails, we're gonna see that everything is attached where it needs to be, and we have both attachments. And from that, we've covered the basics of Microsoft Forms, tying into Power Automate, and doing email attachments. Um, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And um, comment on any other stuff you want to see with Power Automate or Microsoft Forms. Thanks for watching.